Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Surprised to see me? I have taken up a rank four and two rank threes in recent videos. And it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. Now, if you think you can guess who this one is, leave a comment below. Let me know who you think uh, I'm going to be taking up this time. But we're about to reveal it. In five, four, three, two, one. Havoc. I just pulled him uh, from a crystal, a featured crystal at that, but I wanted him. I actually like Havoc. And I have use for him, especially in some of the lanes where you have, um, I'm trying to remember what the name, the lanes are, but they're, they're usually energy, yeah, energy adoption type lanes. And he does extremely well on those types of lanes. So I like him. Now, uh, back in the day, he was my main Korg counter. And in AQ, Korg was assigned to me because I could solo him. And he was very difficult to deal with at that time. Now, Omega Red can also do it just fine. But usually, all it was is building up to a special three, getting him um, rock charges, whatever, his armor down, hit him with a special three, and usually the fight was over. Uh, I don't know if Havoc has the most damaging uh, special three in the game, but it is devastating. And we will take a look at it um uh against winter soldier now uh i remember watching seaton he's another uh youtuber he hasn't been doing a whole lot lately uh but i remember watching him showcase a three star that's all he had at the time a three star havoc against winter soldier and when i saw the damage that that three star could do with the special three i was like oh it's a wrap. Got to get him. A lot of people did not know about Havoc. They really just kind of slept on him. And I picked him up for the Lolo in the arena. Uh, and that was the uh, five star. And oh, man, I took him up. Uh, he was taking out Korg all the way up. You know, five star rank one. I was able to take him out as I just kept taking him up. It just made it easier and easier on the later days. Uh, and like I said, even though I don't use him now uh, against Korg, I do want to take him up. And he is great for those lanes, especially. And he has other uses, but um, he has high energy resistance. And let me tell you, uh, he is annoying. And if you have him as a defender, it kind of makes them need a counter or they're going to get wrecked really hard uh in uh battlegrounds all right so without further ado let's head into realm of legends and slap around winter soldier all right first let's take a look at the synergies that i decided to go in here with all right so this first one gives him more plasma charges he gets two after every special attack hopefully that's also the special three um this next synergy uh each time havoc deals energy damage to the opponent, which he does often, 10% chance to gain another plasma charge. We like ramping up those plasma charges. And this final one, a parry, gives him a plasma charge. Okay, so let's go ahead in here. And I will show you each of his specials. But I mainly want to rotate his special three. Uh, and especially since I run suicides, that's a very good thing. All right, so let's here we go with his special one. Okay, yep, and you saw that he gained quite a bit of plasma charges. I think it was two. Okay, come on. He just got a plasma detonate. I'm going to show you his special two. 
Okay. And then finally, the special three. And I'm going to time it so that when a soldier has like 10 uh, plasma charges on him, to get a nice good detonation. I think it resets at either uh, 10 or 11. I think it's 11. Let's see. All right, so that's 10. Let me see. Yeah, okay. So at 10, we're gonna fire it off. I mean, he still got hurt, but uh, let's see what that uh, special three is gonna look like. Okay, so let's use this synergy. All right, there's 10. All right, there's the special three. Let's see what kind of damage it does. Mm, nasty. And then it kept going. Nasty damage. And I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe that uh, if I rank him up, it might increase some of that uh, detonation damage, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that one. I can't wait to use this guy. Um, I would bring in my five star for the energy adoption uh, nodes. And he just ripped it. Okay. Ah, I kind of messed up on that one. I should have killed him, but I didn't uh, wait until he had, you know, a good amount of charges on him just now. I figured that little bit was enough, but it wasn't all right let's try another one it's another one queen b come on here we go now she does have some energy resistance so this is going to be interesting Let's see what uh, his damage looks like here. And if you didn't notice, he is getting passive power gain. So even if the AI decides to play a little passively, it's fine. We will uh, still be able to reach our special three. Just dancing around. Don't need to hit them. I do like that. Okay, so now Got four charges, five charges. Okay, got seven, eight, ten. All right. Let's see what damage. Still respectable damage. That is some respectable damage right there. I really want to know if uh, his damage goes up as his rank goes up. Okay. And his special two can do some damage too. But that special three, man, is just nasty. Now on the energy adoption, paths what ends up happening uh you don't cycle the special threes really i mean you could but because he's getting all that energy you fire off your heavy attack and that feedback destroys them on that energy adoption nasty oh whoops it, it detonated, but did you see how much damage that detonation did? Crazy. Whoops. Ooh, that was nasty. Go ahead, girl. Y'all saw how she did that? She intercepted me with a special in the air. I fired off a heavy attack too far back 
And oh my goodness, she wasn't playing. That was, that was kind of cool. The other thing that the heavy does is it gives him those uh, prowess. I think he gets a max of five. So now he'll really do some damage. This should kill her. Yep, too early, but yeah, this should kill her. Yeah. So, building up with the prowess, then getting 10 plasma charges, then waiting until they have 10 plasma charges, firing off a special three, that's usually mega, mega damage. All right, but that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, consider giving me a like. It really helps me out. What do you think about Havoc? You know, he's not a champion that I'm probably going to be using a lot, but I want to have him for those times that I do want to use him. And I don't want to keep having to bring in the five star. His awakened ability is not really anything. It just helps him ramp up the uh, plasma charges a little bit faster. It's not necessary at all. All right. So take care and you all have a blessed day. Thank you.